Hey, welcome to today's daily devotion. Today our title is Be Complete in the book of Ephesians in chapter two, uh, chapter 4 and verse 2. And it says, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Oh man, there's so much here and so many different angles and directions that you can go uh, with this. But let's talk about being complete. You know, being complete in life is, is uh, uh, first of all, is Jesus Christ. Having Jesus as our Savior, uh, having Jesus as our leader and our guide and our director. But I want to point out some things that he says to be complete in. First of all, he says to be complete, uh, be humble. Be humble. Be have a humble heart. Have a heart that's caring. A heart that's loving. Be a heart that's ready to hear. Ready to listen. A heart that can make a difference uh, uh, in other people's lives. And not only that, he says, I want you to be humble, and I want you to be gentle. Boy, I'm telling you, it's hard sometimes to be gentle in today's generation. It's even hard trying to be gentle whenever you're driving up a, a freeway or somewhere or something. There's so much road rage. There's so many people that angered today so many people that's angered and they're just looking for a fight they're just looking for somebody that they can just unload on it's because they're carrying so much down inside of them and it's not necessarily against you or not you personally it's just you happen to be at that place at that time and that opportunity was dumped down but we got to be humble he says we also got to be gentle but then he says be patient bearing with one another Ooh, it's hard to be patient today. But you know, he wants us to be completely in these things. To me and you to be completely in these things is to have a humble heart, be gentle, and be patient. And it, all of this sums up and does this in love. And you see, right before uh, Paul was speaking this in verse 1, he says, live a life uh, worthy of your calling in life, what you was called to. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read that. It says, as prisoners of the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of your calling. Live a life worthy of your calling. What in the world? You see... Let's just be complete. Let's be complete with Jesus Christ deep down in our soul because so many people is depending on me and you to show that we are humble people, that we're patient, and we're gentle, and we're kind. Most of all, that we're loving. I hope this gives you that word of encouragement. God bless you. We'll see you again soon.